practicing um, just just trying to be consistent um, hitting these irons especially the short one nine iron here so I try to do like three to the target I don't go no further until I get that. Baseball player, gotta have sunflower seeds and it's grass and bark. landed in about 10 yards of each other at least you know I look at it like this as a beginner I can't do everything y'all can do I can just try to perfect my mistakes and get better at it eight iron these are uh, Ping G2s. Yeah. 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 One. Start all over. I'll look at that later and see the mistake I made. Or you guys tell me. That's straight, but I don't know what is it when you hit it off the bottom. Doing. Man, you, I'm doing all right. Can't complain. Good. good day today, right? It is. You needed that rain, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the greens needed that green, that rain too. <laughs> yeah, them greens are really. <laughs> oh man. They've been watering about every day. With, uh, their, yeah. their irrigation system doesn't work. Exactly. Yep. You get any pretty pictures of a pretty swing? I'm still taking them. That's you, mine, there, sir. You get to get in them. Oh, look at that. It's the same old slice you've been hitting it with, but you've got it on the film. Okay. You just cost me to start all over, you bum. <laughs> What'd you say? You just caused me to start all over, you bum. <laughs> <laughs> Dig, I'm jacking you up for that. 
There you go. Look at that one, baby. Oh, that's unbelievable. Straight to the target. You should be on the tour. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's an eight iron, so. That kid got some potential. Ah! That kid, that, that kid though, they got some potential. Oh yeah. You know why you hit that little dribbler? I don't know yet. Your head was out there. That's what I figured. Yeah. When I watched, that's why, that's why I got there. <laughs> that's exactly it. <laughs> Now what about that one? Because I saw well, you hit that the... one. You really hit hard. Yeah, and I hit the top that of it. It was a hard grounder to short instead of a dribbler to third. Right. Th that guy's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the ones that shorts. I just packed that glove like four times, uh -huh. <laughs> and then let it fly across the diamond. You're out. There you go. <clears throat> That's got a little bit of a draw on it too. Eight iron, huh? You should, you should be able to hit an eight iron with your size. <laughs> you should be able to hit an eight iron 160. Seriously. I'm getting them. With your strength. Because I'm, the nine iron is going about 130. Okay, yeah. And so, uh, I learned that on at part three right there, uh -huh. because I used to get the nine iron like one ten, so that 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 uh that part three one hundred the third row. I'm out there like that. Oh yeah, I could do full swing on that one. Wow! <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, that look good. I'm like, I get up there, it's it's like 30, 40 feet a yard from the uh from the. I'm like, damn it. Yeah, I I hit my nine about one ten. So now I'm going from there. I'm using the pitching wedge now, uh -huh. yeah. but that all changed when I got, I bought some, um, these Ping G, G2 irons, they're a little older, but they were nice, and I noticed, uh, I had went to a fitter, and the, he told me like, hey, graphite, you know, regular flex. I'm using steel, stiff flex, but that's because I'm quite a bit stronger than you are. Yeah. <laughs> You, hey, you might be. <laughs> no, it's just I have more control of it. I just love them. But what I like, though, is this new swing. I don't say new swing. Even when I hit them, they still go pretty straight. See, these are the copper heads. Let me hit, let me hit this. Oh, go right ahead. What's the pitching wedge? Hit that wedge. You should hit that uh, wedge uh, 100 yards. Easy. Ping. What the hell is it? first they were they were outlawed 20 years ago and then they were they brought them back they grandfathered them back in but they're really nice clubs i like this uh this grip there you go i should hit it how much you should be able to hit it 100 yeah that, was that about one eight. about 75 but you put it up on the grass Put the ball up in the grass. Right here? Yeah, like like uh, you will in a, a fairway. You, you'll have it up. Yeah, there. I was looking for some of that. Somebody just hit a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That guy, uh, nice. That guy was keeping his back leg flat. Told him to turn it, and he's just been hitting the shit out of the ball. I mean, he's hitting the ball 200 yards on a fly. That's a nice grip. Who did a grip? Uh, the guy who uh, sold me the club that already had uh, these grips put on. The guy that I play with up in the uh, states. Oh, in the tournament? I mean, at yeah. all the, the league? Yeah. And when I first moved to Chester, and I think I mentioned to you, I had my club stolen. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I had three of these. I didn't have the whole set, but I had three of them, and then I had a bunch of other mixed clubs and stuff. And I've been looking to get back to these, and he just happened to have an old set. 
and they want to do uh, get rid of it, sell it. So, so what you do? Petition the, P, the, the, the PGA to, to bring those clubs back? Right, right. I told them, look, look, it's it's me, damn it. Be like, I'm Dick. <laughs> I'm I'm Dick. Look here, get this shit right. I need I need to be grandfathered in. Right. So these old ass clubs. No. These only ones I can hit. woods this is a seven wood go ahead and try it put a ball up on the grass no need for a tee I'll bet you bet you you'll hit it uh, 150 on the fly let's just pray I hit it these jumbo grips yeah I like them I just put I love them I just put a jumbo grip on my driver Oh really? Yeah, I I. Tell me something. How come how come you put your thumb down there? Because I, I follow the. Wrap it. Wrap it. Like that? Yeah. Because when you put your thumb down like that, it creates pressure. Yeah. It creates tension. So like like that. Just like this. You know, just lay it on the side. But I, okay, so. So do that. Remember when the, your batting coach said, look, hold that bat like it's a baby bird? Same thing with golf. So your little hands and my bigger hands. Because <coughs> you got a bigger ass, that's why. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see what that does. Was out there. I, I, yeah, I was looking at my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Did that excuse work? You get used to that club, you'd, you'd love it. Just... I need aluminum, buddy. I'm, I'm aluminum baby. We didn't use wood bats in baseball when I was coming up. Well, that's right, you didn't. This feels so weird. Well, look, when you go back with your club, what does this knee do? It comes down here. Yeah, it comes here. Yeah. Because when you take your club back, your weight actually goes to this foot. Right. Yeah. Well, sound of a gun. 150. Because I'm a, I'm a pro. I was, I was. Somebody must have given you some really good advice. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a pro. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, <laughs> I engineered that. <laughs> that was that, you know, that's that guy in the pool hall that was like that missed all his shots and then. All right. I'm a ringer, baby. That's right. You're setting them up for the kill. Slow. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Back up. So risky for risky? baseball, you know. 
Risky? Risty. Risty. Oh, risk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One. Make it a good one. It's a Frank Thomas shot over the left center field wall. Make it a good one. Stepping up to the plate. Dick Salmons. <laughs> good shot. That was 100 with your driver? Huh? That was 100 yards with your driver? Yeah, something like that. <laughs>